Hey everybody, and welcome to another episode of Chris, Why Would You Eat That? Today, I'm eating a piece of bubblegum. Now, it may not seem odd to eat bubblegum, and it may not even seem odd to eat a package of double bubble bubblegum. But the odd thing about this gum, and the reason why it's an episode of Chris, Why Would You Eat That? It's because this gum is more than 20 years old. Uh, yeah, I don't really remember when I got it, but I guarantee it's at least 20 years old. So it's, um, it's not fresh. And the funny thing about it is, uh, a while back when I sort of wrote the review of Double Bubble, um, I sort of complained at one point on a blog, it might have been a while back, that you could never find a fresh piece of Double Bubble bubblegum. And uh, the folks at Double Bubble got back to me and actually sent me a fresh, off the factory floor package of uh, Double Bubble. And it was super soft and super yummy, so I just want to say that this has no reflection upon the fine people who make Double Bubble or the, the candy that they produce, because normally if you can get yourself a fresh piece of Double Bubble, it is a huge difference. The thing about Double Bubble I noticed though is that a lot of stores, particularly when I was a kid, used to sell Double Bubble and I think they just kept boxes and boxes of it forever because it would go stale. And I remember a few times like almost breaking a tooth off of a piece of Double Bubble bubble gum. But uh, so now I'm gonna sort of remember what it was like to have that, uh, that experience of chewing a piece of double bubble bubble gum that is like really old and this one might be the oldest piece of double bubble gum that I've ever eaten in my entire life so I'm kind of excited about this so let's give this a try again this is more than 20 years old um, first we have to get through the comics so I'm gonna read you the comics see if it's funny um, so it says it's got a uh, a, gr a couple of girls and they seem to be at an Easter egg hunt and it's a, the one girl is saying to, to the the girl I found 13 eggs the other girl says I only found 10 and then uh, I believe the the gentleman known as double bubble or bazooka Joe oh double bubble guy I don't know his name uh, I guess it wouldn't be bazooka Joe because I'd be in a bazooka Joe comic uh, the double bubble guy says I found the chicken and the girls are shocked oh that uh, double bubble Pete I don't know what his name is. I'm just going to call him Double Bubble Pete. He's a hilarious guy. Um, so I'll, I'll post this on social media. You can check out the, the fun comic yourself and have guffaws for days. Uh, so I got the gum here. And it is, it's hard. So uh, I don't know how to, sort of against the mic. It is, it is definitely not soft. There is no way I would call this gum soft. I'm trying to bend it, it does not bend at all. Um, this gum is definitely stale. But let's see how stale it is and see if flavor has anything to do with it. So this is 20 year old piece of double bubble. Okay. It's turning into like a powder in my mouth. Oh my God. There's barely any gum, like it's just powder. It's like, there's a bit of sort of chewable gum, but it's like, um, and now it's suddenly it's turned into rubber. It went from like hard to like a powdery mess in my mouth. And then a bit of that powdery mess sort of collected together. And now it's got the consistency of hard rubber, like instantly. Like normally when you get double bubble, it's really soft and you sort of get a bit of chewing. But this, no softness at all, unless you consider powder soft. I mean, I guess it is soft, but it's, flavor's gone. There's absolutely no flavor left at all. Like flavor just instantly went like, I know double bubble has a reputation for losing its flavor fast, but that was, that was stupendously fast. Oh, it's not gross. Like, when it was powdered, it had, an, it had the sort of double bubble flavor, but it's gone. Like literally as long as that flavor could sort of, I got the initial two or three bites flavor and then, ugh, ugh, oh, that's not, it's not good now. It's just this rubber. It's like, 
it went from soft powder to like a gum that's been sitting in my mouth for like three hours instantaneously. Ugh. Mm. Excuse me. That was fairly awful. So, uh, I recommend if you have a really old piece of uh, double bubble bubble gum, uh, don't, don't, don't think you're going to spend your afternoon enjoying that wonderful chewy flavor. It's going to be a powder with a slight double bubble flavor and turn into a piece of rubber pretty much instantaneously. That was awful. Well, thanks for watching another episode of Chris, Why Would You Eat That? Where I ate an, a 20 year old piece of double bubble bubble gum and I wouldn't recommend it for anybody. So, um, as always, you can follow me on Twitter at Candy Critic. Or go to candycritic.org and find links to all of the other social media, including uh, Instagram and uh, Facebook and all that kind of fun stuff. Uh, you can also go to my Patreon page, patreon.com slash candycritic. And there you will find uh, all kinds of bonus content, including, I believe there's a blooper for this one that will be up there. And the bloopers get put up like after I record them. So I record a lot of these videos ahead of time. So like people know what I'm going to be shooting if you're on the Patreon, like way ahead of time before they, it comes up. You also get previews to this stuff, generally a week or two before the full video comes out, uh, people on Patreon get to uh, get the videos ahead of time, so that's kind of cool. Uh, depending on the tier you're on, you might also get issues of our uh, of my of my uh, mini comic called Snack Facts, which talks about candy and stuff like that. It's a comic about candy, which is kind of cool. Uh, presently, you can probably order uh, the actual copies. I think they're available right now, and you can uh, also download digital copies. And uh, yeah, so you can have so you can have copies of it sent to your inbox and everything like that. So. Uh, Thanks for watching another episode of uh, Chris, Why Would You Eat That? And we'll see you next time. Bye.